A woman from Georgia is in Connecticut this evening on a mission to track down her late son's ashes. She says she shipped them through UPS last month to her sister's house in Waterbury. Yeah, but they never arrived. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts spoke to her today. She joins us now with her story. Amanda. Yeah, Mike and Keisha, that mom feels like she's lost her son all over again. And UPS acknowledges that the package is missing, and they actually sent her a check for $135. But she says that is not enough, and she's here in Connecticut to find those ashes herself. Fresh off a flight from Georgia. And that's all I came for, Connecticut. UPS, where is Dion? Tanjanika Lee is searching for her son. January 8th, I went to UPS store in Hiram, Georgia. And I shipped a lot of things amongst my son's remains. She said her son Dion died in 2020 from a fentanyl overdose. He was just 15. Dion was sweet and he had a little innocent soul. She put his ashes inside a box with clothes and an iPad and shipped it to Connecticut to her sister's house in Waterbury. She makes the yarns and so she was going to make one for me, like special. But the box never arrived. It was like, I lost my son. I lost him. I lost him all over again. Lee went back to the UPS store with police, who she says reviewed surveillance cameras. They said that they seen on January 8th, the package went out. She said it was tracked to Connecticut to a distribution center. She flew here to look herself. I want to go to both distribution centers. In a statement, UPS said in part, quote, we continue to extend our sympathies to the family for their loss and are deeply sorry that after working diligently, we were unable to locate the package. We recognize that no amount of money would compensate for the loss of a loved one's ashes, which is one of the most important reasons UPS declines to transfer transport human remains, adding that they've reimbursed the estimated value of the package's contents, which they said was labeled as clothing. Lee received a check for $135. That was an insult and a slap in my face because, yeah, he weighed, he worked way more than it. She's now offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who can help find that box with her whole world in it. I don't care about the package. Just lead me to the remains of my son. Now, if you know anything about the whereabouts of that package, you're urged to contact UPS, or you can reach out to our newsroom at news at NBCConnecticut.com. Live in West Hartford, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News.